behind it. Good evening, Bayon. Hey, Alex, good evening to you, too, but certainly not a good evening for a lot of Bakersfield residents who are still waiting to have their catalytic converters repaired after getting them stolen this year, as it's a very lengthy process. It's a very expensive process. And get this, according to the Bakersfield Police Department, there has been three times more catalytic converter theft reports this year than all of 2020. Watch. It's an unpleasant roar that's all too familiar across Bakersfield. I didn't know what sound it made, so I text my dad. I'm like, uh, something's not right. And he told me, yeah, that's your catalytic converter. So I just figured they got me. Lindsay McRoberts had her catalytic converter stolen a few weeks ago off her Toyota SUV. And according to Bakersfield police detective Jessica Amos, she's just one of many. We have an increase in them being stolen right now throughout the city. We're looking at about 450 right now for the year. The increase comes as the price of platinum, rhodium, and palladium metals used to make catalytic converters continues to rise as other countries like China and Europe crack down on car emissions. They're selling them to either recycling places, there's different auto body shops um, that we have information on that are purchasing these. Auto repair businesses like Bob's Muffler Shop have been slammed with repair requests. We usually get like 20 or 30 a day. The phone's ringing till we open in the morning, till we close at night. We got a call waiting and it doesn't stop all day long. Replacing or fixing those converters is not a quick process. Some of those requests, like for McRoberts, can take weeks or even months to complete. It's happening so quick, uh, they, they've fallen behind on, their, on the uh, manufacturing. Uh, some of the dealer cats are six, eight months out. They don't have anything. The price tag can range in the thousands without insurance. An inconvenience BPD says people may be able to avoid by parking in well-lit areas or garages if possible, engraving your car's VIN number onto the catalytic converter and installing an anti-theft device. It's very inconvenient, very frustrating, um, but what, what can you do? And if you drive an SUV or a truck, chances are it's truck that just drove by me here uh, you want to pay extra attention to those tips if you drive an SUV or a truck because it's gonna save a thief a lot of time from having to get underneath and jack it up Alex